Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to check what heights of the map are the highest points. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because when you're building scaffolding, you know, with the roof going up, you need to get to a high point to be able to make it as high as it can go because it can make a really cheap tower. Also, for cranes as well, you need to be able to get high. You need to get high to place the crane at maximum height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out some spots that I believe are the highest points. And then you can use this for when you're placing it. So you don't have to go up to the snow all the time. Because going to the snow is really far away. That you might need to go up there to get maximum scaffold height. Using the crane, you might not need to go so high. It also affects zip lines as well. Zip lines only go one way. If you're looking for a high point to get somewhere or anything like that, this can be good to know. Or if you want trying to avoid these areas, that's another thing. Especially for this area here, this is an area I actually built to my season five where I built a, a bridge that goes from the grassy highlands all the way to the peninsula where the big tree is and it went through the map originally so I had to build it higher so this part of the map is actually quite high and this is actually around the center of the map to give you a rough estimate of where the center of the map is this big tree I think it's known as King's Hill someone named it it's around here this is around the center of a map just here but the problem is building here is not a very good idea because there's actually not many sticks unless you go over that way there's quite a few and also there's barely any trees but the main thing is that this is a heavily patrolled area cannibals come through here like crazy so to show you an example of what i mean about the height thing with cranes if you say you place a crane down here this is about river level lake level so you can only go about that high as you can see it doesn't get much higher you need to go high so if we go all the way up here to the top of this mountain range and near king's hill near the center cannibal village and where i happen to crash land if i look up jump press e and then i go down we now that is the max height i believe the crane can be placed without the use of mod api though so just to test i'm going to place it again and i quickly run up to the snow area to see if the snow area is actually the only real way to get it at maximum height what i'm actually interested in finding out and when I make these videos, a lot of the time it's to test it for myself. And I figure, well, you guys might want to know that too. So I do the testing while I'm making the video. A little bit of discovery is always good. Now, I think one of the highest points in the map is around here. This is where the cockpit is. And if you finish the game and kept playing, you'll know that this area is quite unique as well. So I'm just going to go, say here, jump, E. And we'll go back down and have a look. If you're coming back, make sure you have a turtle shell because you can get some good traction coming down here on a turtle shell okay exact same height i actually think the one on the right is a little bit bigger maybe it's just where i've placed it so yeah so you don't have to go all the way up to the snow just to get the maximum height you could probably use areas around here and this is good to know especially if you're just starting out you don't have much athleticism because running up there and back can take a good 10 minutes and that's just not cricket mate and running through the snow drains energy and there's a lot of enemies up in the north part of the map so and you'd always get lost and oh god knows what else happens i thought i selected creative mode when i did this i think i did yeah i did all pvp damage i don't even know I'll turn them off bye now i just wanted to test something uh if you've got blueprint can you pick up this no you can't pick it up and if you've got it yeah, you can't place the blueprint with this thing so didn't think you could i just wanted to double check Okay, so the way I'm going to test it is I'm going to use a custom foundation like this and place it over the area where I think it's most high because that's where you'd be able to place it from. So for instance, you jump up here and then you get to here and I'd use this as a guide. So go around. So this point is a little bit lower than that point. Though, if your plane crashes here, you'll be able to get extra height by jumping up on top of the plane, which is not exactly easy to do, but it can be done. I'm not going to show you, but basically, if you can't do it, you just build a simple stairs or something and then climb up. So that point is higher than that, and it's much higher than here too, They're around the center of the Mount Kings Hill. And just checking all around here, it is the highest point. It's even higher than the huts. There you go. It's right here next to this cave entrance. Good spot. Now I'm going to test the grassy highlands in comparison to this one. Because that's fairly high up, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be higher. Just to give you an example of some of the height differences, look at that. The altitude in this game can really vary. Plus I'm big on uh, building in areas that aren't so 
high up. Build an area that's high up. You can't bring logs in via the zip line. So that can make it really difficult to build a base in those areas. Okay, I'm going to the highest area of the grassy highlands, which I'm just going to assume is around here. And yeah, it's much bigger over there. Same with here too. Much bigger. Okay, I'm going to go over to the main cannibal village and check out the height of that area. Okay, that area is definitely a lot higher than where the main cannibal village is. The next area I'm going to test is here. Now this is one of my favorite areas to send a zip line over there. I've done it multiple times. So that's going to set it here. I think it's probably a little bit high over there, but don't really care. This is where you'd place a zip line because there's most of the logs there. I'm going to run it over to the grassy highlands. Okay, it's just a little bit higher on the other side, which is good. If we go over here, this is higher here, so it can be good to know. Same with here. Now, if you're not aware, the peninsula is not high at all where the big tree is. It's actually quite low. Something you might find interesting is the lake or river is actually higher than the ocean. It's not by much, but it's still good to know. So don't class that as sea level. It might catch you out. If you're wondering how I'm moving so fast and the day isn't changing, I'm using console commands on PC, which is unfortunately unavailable on PlayStation 4. Okay, so I'm going to place it from up here, just on the ground level, though you can easily make a stairs and just jump up in there. It will give you a little bit more height. Though we're talking about just natural for now. So I'm just going to go to a couple of places. I'll start heading towards the main cannibal village. There's the lakeside cannibal village for reference. It's quite a bit higher than it. The peninsula is a lot lower than the main cannibal village. I'll show you where it's going to come out. God, I have to go far. The peninsula really isn't that high. Ah, uh, here it is. See? Just barely here. And the yacht's just down here. See? Yeah, so it's not very high at all. Custom Foundation is amazing for measuring elevations. It's really good for placing zip lines. It's actually just a little bit higher than the sinkhole. Well, obviously I'm not in the sinkhole. That's probably the lowest point. But yeah, the side here. You're in the big tree, it'll be higher, but you know, God, it's chunking a lot, taking it through the sinkhole. Okay, now where I'm going to find is the top of Geese Lake, because that's actually quite high up. Oh, that's interesting. It's basically the exact same height as Geese Lake from up here, the cliff. There you go. Okay, I've done most of the areas of interest. Now it's time to find the highest point in the game. Now we're heading towards the north end of the map. That's definitely where the highest point's going to be. And it's going to definitely be in the snow. Pretty much just a massive mountain range that just keeps going higher and higher. Now, I'm 99% sure this is the highest point in the map on the south side of the map. I cannot think of anywhere that would be higher than this. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to see how far you can go into the north side of the map before that spot becomes redundant. Okay, entering the north side of the map. Going to keep heading until we reach the snow. Okay, just coming into the snow area. And this is quite a high point at the start of the snow area. I'm going to run along it and see if there's any points along the bottom of the snow area that are higher than King's Hill or whatever it is. We'll just call it King's Hill. It's getting so choppy. I have to click it and place it so it runs a bit smoother. Okay, this is about as close as I'm getting without entering the snow. So it looks like it might be the highest grassy area on the map. Oh, it's about the closest I can get without going fully into the snow. That is actually really good to know. I didn't realize how high that point was. So it might be a good point to uh, jump off your glider, get some air time. I don't have to go far into the snow before the snow is actually taller. All right, time to find the... Oh, there's a raccoon there. There you go. I'm going to go up to the snow and start finding where the highest actual point in the game is. Now, a lot of these places and cliffs you can technically get on top of, but it's really tricky because a lot of the areas actually kick you down, even though it looks like you'd be able to climb it. I might just start from here and just work my way along. It's going to be around the top end here where it's going to be the highest. Okay, I managed to get up here and it looks like it's almost the exact same height. So that area would be the most accessible. You can get up here, but it's not going to give you that much more height. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. That's actually quite a bit higher. As you can see, it's good two stories. Now, if you want to get up here, you can, but you're going to have to build a custom stairs up there. Otherwise, it just kicks you down as the game's telling you not to go this way being very rude now some of these places you might be able to like rock climb and stuff but the thing is what's going to happen is you can't rock climb and place a blueprint at the same time so it might be a bit redundant maybe but this is a guide more to doing it without having to build anything to get up high as you're seeing i'm going to be showing you along the way that all these cliffs you could probably get up them oh you could definitely jump across here but there's nothing too high up here can't get up here 
God, it's so white. But this is another point too. You can probably get up there if you build, but it won't allow you to normally get up. I don't think you can parkour your way up here. Yeah, it looks too difficult. Okay, up near these tents where these uh, three corpses are, that area is still a little bit higher. Okay, this area is quite high up naturally. Oh, I don't even know where I am. It's not so big and empty. There's the cockpit, so this is a place I was just near. I think you can jump up here a little bit. If you finish the game, it opens up this cave thing and you can jump on top of it, but you're not going to get any higher than that. So that's probably the highest point so far. Okay, it looks like we're just going downhill now. I'm going to quickly check the side of the map here. You can actually sort of glitch up here, but it's quite hard to do. No, you can't really get up there. Just wants to kick you down. Rude. If you're looking for a good height, just come up near the cockpit, I think. That's quite easy to find and gives you a decent height. But if you're looking for an extra few levels, stories I think would be the better term. Actually, here's not too bad. It's much quite easy to access, so just come up through... Yeah, over here, there's an entrance point there. And you could come along here, jump up over here to get to here. Now this is the highest point in the map that you can naturally get to. There are higher places, so you will need to build things to get up there. I've actually never tested a lot of these cliffs. Might do a quick test to see what you can do to actually get up on top of them. Oh, ball sack. So if you want to get up here, I think you just need to jump on one of these things here. You should be able to get it without speedy run and stuff and high athleticism. A lot of these places would be very safe to build, but the sticks and tree and log situation is just horrendous. <laughs> it would be a nightmare to get them up here. Okay, so what can you actually do with these things? Okay, it looks like it won't allow you to attach a cliff platform to the side of it. You can sort of do one here. Don't know what use this would have. Oh, it just kicked me off. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, I'm stuck. Yeah, be careful doing this. <laughs> the game really doesn't want you there. Oh god, it's so white and bright. So this is the kind of stuff you can do if you really want to get up here. A lot of these areas, if you do this, you'll be able to get to a place where the enemies can't reach you, but like I said, the log and stick situation is not cool. Okay, you can get up here, but can't move any further. If I walk down... Yeah, I'm just getting blocked. It's just a nightmare. Okay, so you can sort of get up here, but God, it would take you so long to get up here. And the restrictions and stuff, it's just not f that fun. It would be too frustrating. It's just wanting to kick me down even up here. So there you go. There's the highest points in the map. I'm glad I know this info now. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.